Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the License to Chill collection from Katie Shimmer. If I am on schedule with everything, this will go live today. If not, it went live on November 29th, and I apologize for that. Um, but in the description box below, I will link the Katie Shimmer site, I will link their Instagram page, and I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from this collection. And since I know I will definitely be getting this up before December 2nd, um, between November 29th and December 2nd, you can get 25% off your KB Shimmer order for Black Friday. I will leave the coupon code on the screen as well as in the description box. So we have a total of nine polishes to look at today and let's go ahead and get started. So for starters, all of today's swatches will be topped off with the KB Shimmer Free and Clear Glossy Top Coat. And first we have License to Chill, and this is a white curly base, and it's loaded with these iridescent flakies. They shift primarily this like golden to copper to pink shade, but whenever it's flat like this, they do look warmer toned, but in any kind of angle, they are this kind of warmer toned flake. I'm sorry, when it's flat like this, it looks like the cool flakes, like the blue to green, but shifted this way, it's warm. So here's our first coat of License to Chill. So this one is pretty sheer here on this first coat. These iridescent flakies are really easy to lose. So if it's in more of an opaque base, you don't see as many of them. So you do wanna build this one up to more so build up those flakies. Formula on this is smooth though. It's not too thick, not too thin, very easy to use and easy to control. I didn't have any kind of running or pulling. In theory, you could use this as a topper, but it's a little milky, so it will definitely tint whatever color you put it over. I do prefer it on its own, though. I tried it on swatch sticks, and I do like how it looked best on its own. So here's our third coat, and that does cover completely in three coats. This is going to dry slightly dull and slightly textured because of the larger flakies. So you will want a top coat to finish this off, but nothing in here is going to be difficult to remove, and a matte top coat really brings those flakies alive. So there's three coats. Up next we have I'm Smitten and this is a super light, almost white, but it is a lilac base and it's got these little holographic silver glitters throughout it. So here's our first coat of I'm Smitten. And I'm sorry if you hear little baby noises, I do have her on my lap and I'm not really sure if she's trying to fall asleep or what, so she might be making some sounds. But formula on I'm Spitten is again really good. It's a little bit on the thicker side, but it is very easy to control. It doesn't have the self-leveling self properties, um, so you do have to kind of work it a little bit because it's on the thicker side, but again, not hard to control whatsoever. So building up well in two coats, I am gonna go in for a third coat. That copper shimmer stands out really nicely and the hollow bits that are in here also actually stand out really, really well. So here's our third coat and that does cover completely in three coats. This is gonna dry dull, so you want a top coat to finish it off, but nothing's gonna dry textured and nothing in this is gonna be difficult to remove either. So there is three coats. Up next we have Under Pressure and this is a metallic silver hollow. Here's our first coat of Under Pressure. So this one is a little bit sheer here on this first coat but a smooth, easy to work with formula, no running or pulling, very easy to control too. And you'll see with a few of the polishes that we're gonna look at coming up along with this one, I'm gonna show you what two coats looks like because the shimmer that's in here is so strong and reflective but depending on your application and preference, you might want to go for three. So this one will dry more hollow than when it's wet. Nothing will dry textured or be difficult to remove. So there is two coats. Up next, we have Everyday I'm Shoveling, and <laughs> I love KB Shimmer's names. Um, this is another linear holographic, um, but the color of this is really hard to describe. It's kind of purpley brown, but in different lightings, it goes like purpley bluey green. <laughs> um, so it is a multi-chrome with holographic. Here's our first coat of Everyday I'm Shoveling. 
The blue flesh that's in here stands out really, really well. The hollow that's in here stands out really well too, but it won't stand out as well until it's fully dried. This one does have, again, a really good, really easy to work with formula. No complaints on that whatsoever. So here's our second coat, and that does cover completely in two coats, but again, the flash is so strong, it helps distract from any visible nail line that might be there, but if you're super picky, you might want to go in 4-3. Nothing, nothing will dry textured or be hard to remove, so there's two coats. Up next we have Stay Toasty my friends and this is another multi-chrome. This one primarily goes from this like golden to a pinky to an orange um, and then in different lightings you will get more yellowy shades and this one has a scattered hollow to it. So here's our first coat of Stay Toasty my friends and this one has much the same formula as the last one. Very smooth and easy to work with, a little bit sheer, but a super strong pink flash to this. This is another one that's gonna be a two to three coater depending on how picky you are. Again, I'm gonna show you what two coats looks like today. So here's our second coat and that does cover completely in two coats. This one, you won't really see much of the hollow whatsoever until you're in actual sunlighting. And it'll dry a little dull, so you want a top coat to finish this off, but nothing's going to dry textured, and again, nothing's going to be difficult to remove. So there is two coats. Up next we have Living the High Life, is how I assume it's to be said, and this is another multi-chrome. This one goes from that, like, copper to a gold to a green to a blue and again we are working with a scattered hollow. This one also has a strong copper shimmer. Here's our first coat of Live in the High Life. So once again a little sheer here on this first coat, a two to three coater depending on your application. I'm going to show you what two coats looks like but if you're super picky you might want three. The copper flash that's in here is super strong. I also didn't have any running, pooling, or staining with this polish either, so here's our second coat. And like I said, that does cover completely in two coats for me. This one is going to dry on the dull side, so you will want a glossy top coat to finish this off. But again, nothing is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. I didn't matte top coat these shimmers, but in theory, I think it would be really, really beautiful. So there is two coats. Up next we have All Downhill from here and this is another multi-chrome that goes from a teal to a blue to a navy to like a dark purple with a scattered hollow and this one does have a bright teal shimmer. Here's our first coat of All Downhill from here. So this one covers really really well here on this first coat. I am going to go in for a second coat. Depending on your application and how picky you are, you might want to go in for, or I mean, you might be able to get away with one. Um, but I am working relatively thin today, so I am going to go in for two. So here's our second coat, and that does cover completely in two coats. I also didn't have any kind of staining with this one being such a pigmented blue. This is going to dry dull, so you will want a glossy top coat to finish this off. But nothing is going to dry textured, and nothing is going to be difficult to remove. So there is two coats. Up next we have I Feel Pine and this is a magnetic polish. So right now we're looking at it in this kind of eggplanty shade, but then when I hold the magnet to it, it does create this really strong purpley line to it with a teal to turquoisey green. Um, and then it does go to that blue shade as well. And then again, a scattered hollow. So here's our first coat of I Feel Pine. So this covers really, really well here on this first coat. Like I can't see any kind of nail line, any um, uneven spots, but I am gonna do a second coat because when I'm magnetizing, it does pull from some of the other pigments around. So you do want a completely opaque base before using a magnet. So there's our second coat, and I didn't do the whole magnetic time because that would just take forever, but you do get the gist of this. It does pull really easily, and I didn't have any kind of issues with it staying either. This will dry dull, so you will want to top coat it, but nothing's going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. So there's two coats. And 
And then lastly for today we have Undercover and this is a deeper kind of raspberry color um, and we're working this time with a linear hollow. And here's our first coat of Undercover. This one covers really well here in this first coat. The color can deepen a little bit more, so I am gonna go in for a second coat. But if you're in a rush and need to get out the door with just one coat of polish, you could definitely do that with this one. So here's our second coat, and that does cover completely in two coats and deepen the color to match what's in the bottle. I didn't have any kind of staining with this, but it is a super pigmented color that does tend to stain, so I would recommend wearing a base coat. This will dry more hollow than when it's wet. You will want top coat, and nothing's going to be hard to remove, so there's two coats. I do have an array of favorites here, um, the first one being I'm Smitten. This is such a dainty and beautiful color. I love the shifty shimmer that's in this. I love the hollow bits that are in this. I, I know it says it's a lavender base in their description, but it definitely reads white to me and it definitely reads snow and reflective in winter and I really, really like that. Plus it had a really good formula for such a light color. Obvious favorite here, I have to love this, live in the high life. This is stunning. Um, primarily this like olive -y, kind of murky color, um, but in the low lighting, like it's kind of low lighting in here now, I see shifts of this like blue to green to gold to orange to red to copper. I mean like it's it's one of those oil, stick multichrome, oil slick multichromes and those ones are easily my favorite, but then the added hollow is just, I've said it before, but I like shifty on shifty. And it's shifty, so living the high life. And then my other favorite is I feel pine. So like, realistically, myself, I would never wear it just like this. Um, but when you magnetize this, it's magical and it's beautiful. And it's it's odd because none of the colors that are in this now show up when it's magnetized. And it's like having two different polishes. So. Really, really like that. So those three are the standouts in the collection for me, but they are all really, really good. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this collection. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up. Let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and I will talk to you again next time.